Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this rig where you just move the background and the wheels of the car just animate. I'm also gonna share with you some of the other workflow tips that I do when creating this sort of an animation. So inside After Effects, as you can see, I've already separated the wheels from the car body and already created this looping background. So if you're a complete beginner and don't know how to do this inside Adobe Illustrator, I'd highly suggest you click the link on the top right and go watch this video where I take you through the entire process step by step on how to find the illustration, how to properly layer them in Adobe Illustrator and how to bring them into After Effects for animation. So if you already know how to do that, let's get back to the video. So first of all, make sure the anchor points of the wheels are in the center. Now select both the wheels and hit R on the keyboard for rotation. Let's also open up the position property of the background and make sure the dimensions are separate. If not, right click and select separate dimensions. Let's now press Alt or Option and click on the stopwatch for rotation on the wheels. And use the pick whip to link it to the X position of the background. Now if you move the background you'll get something like this. But now, as you can see, the wheels are rotating in the opposite direction. So to fix that, we need to alter the expression a little bit. Let's multiply the expression with minus 1, which will result in the exact opposite. And now we have what we want. To make this more lively, let's add some kind of vibration to the body of the car. Let's go into the rotation property of the isolated body of the car and move the axis point to the bottom middle. Let's add a wiggle expression to the rotation, which needs us to define the frequency and amplitude. So for frequency, let's do three rotation and let's add 0.5 seconds as amplitude. So now we have this sort of an engine vibration that's going on. And let's add keyframes to the position of the background. So here's the animation and as you can see the car is stopping pretty abruptly here so let's add a keyframe right about here and go into the graph editor. Let's make it pretty linear till here and smooth it out towards the end. Now based on how well you adjust these graphs this will have a resulting effect on the rotation of the wheels which was actually the main point of this video. So now let's add some kind of uh, additional animation to the body of the car. Let's just slightly rotate it to the front and bring it back to the original rotation. Easy ease these keyframes and then add an elastic expression which will result in a much better animation because it will swing in both directions and smoothly bring it to a stop. Now if you don't have Motion Tools extension, I'd highly suggest you go get it, it's totally free on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. I lost the wiggle expression when I applied the elastic effect, so let's add that back in. Now if you want the vibration of the car to stop, like you're switching off the engine or something like that, let's actually create a slider control for this. And let's select the second part of the wiggle expression which was the amplitude and pick whip this to the slider control. Now we have a value to work with. Let's set keyframe and make this go from 0.5 to 0 towards the end. And that's it, that's the end of our tutorial but if you want to create an animation where the car enters some kind of rough terrain like gravel or metals or something. Let's create a second slider control but this one is for the frequency. Let's pick whip that to the second slider and quickly rename that to terrain. And let's say the car enters gravel right about here. Let's set some keyframes and make it go from 4 to 15 for example. And let's change that back towards the end here. Just copy paste that. As you can see here, the frequency of the wiggle gives us the impression that it's entering some kind of 
of terrain. Please do leave a like and consider subscribing if this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But if you are just a beginner, I'd highly suggest you go check out this video where I take you through the entire process step by step. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.